what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today i'm gonna try to finish up this season three um i got four more episodes to do i want to try to do that in one session and try to be all caught up with dark so today is that day we're gonna be doing of course five and six episode here and then I'll move on to do seven and eight so the dark series is amazing they're doing an excellent job of portraying and telling a story but also keeping us in the dark about what's happening there's no final conclusion about anything that's happening in this series and that's just what makes it so intriguing it's it's a matter of I really don't know what's going on so so as the episodes come out of course um, and you know you guys are seeing these on YouTube um, I, I keep saying this because I want you guys to remember go in the comment section and and send out some send me some awesome awesome person or a channel on YouTube that has really done a very good job of breaking down everything from season one to season three and I will react to it okay so from what we see what's going on as I said I don't want to say much because pretty much we're living in the other timeline because apparently the other one blew up so I don't know what Anna is going to return to or if that's where she's going to go she is pregnant at this point we're talking about 2019 Anna not from um not from Martha's world but from you know the world that we started the series with because they're in a different world <laughs> so you know so I don't know what world she's planning to return to or where she's going but I'm wondering if she returns if she's gonna just automatically go to Martha's world or she's going to you know what I'm saying like or is she going to go back to some other time period because she definitely can't go back to 2019 right because the apocalypse happened over there right so I don't know I don't know what's going to happen there's a lot of information being revealed um, but at the same time you still really don't know what's going on we don't know the objective and that's the thing, like the end game. What is the situation here? Are we trying to, we, we know that there are two groups fighting against each other to control time. Is that even a storyline anymore? Is that even a thing anymore? Like, what is the objective of Adam? What does Adam really want? Which is Jonas? What do they really want to do? Do they want to save the world? Do they want to save their world? Do they want to... You get what I'm saying? Because now Ava is saying that um, they really can't save any um, of the world. Now Martha is pregnant, which is the Martha of the Martha world, right? She's pregnant, but she's traveling to the 1800s where freaking Magnus and them escaped when the apocalypse happened so it's it, it's it, we we don't know <laughs> okay let's just say we don't know I need somebody to put this in order for me but anyways let's pause here I will see you guys for the review All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna try my best to talk about it. This is going to be probably a, a long review. I'm gonna try to talk about it before I go and watch the two final episodes, right? All right. I don't know why I looked invisible. I gotta fix that before we jump in. Uh, I look invisible for some reason. Um, I did change the filters a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll look way too invisible there. Okay, let's go. All right, so uh, 
in turn to be grainy man sometimes I I really need to get another light in here it's weird whatever let's do this I'll fix that shit later regardless of what's going on right now right which is I don't like what's going on right now with the show because it is not in a sense that I'm not liking the show because I'm confused it's more of like um, there's an abundance of information being thrown at you in very little time and you just got to kind of have to sift through what's happening to re for it to make sense to you because as things are revealed, it creates more issues. It makes because you're trying to follow so many different things at the same time. It makes it harder for the viewer to understand or for me to understand. Let me speak for myself because you know what I'm saying? I consider myself to be a pretty smart person and this show is making me look like a complete dumbass. I, like it's that brilliant. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that we're never going to get a conclusion to what is really happening. But the main thing that I'm trying to, I've been seeing this for a while now in the series where what is the end game? Is there an end game? Is it really light versus dark? You get what I'm trying to say? Is, is it light versus dark, Adam versus Ava? What is it? Because I'm confused. I don't know what the end game is. I think I'm trying to get to the end before or maybe I'm going too far before they even get there. But what exactly are they trying to do? What is the objective here? You got one side saying they're trying to save both worlds. The other one is saying both worlds can't exist. It's either you save one or both of them get destroyed or whatever. They're trying to end this loop that is going on, this infinite loop that is going on. But the way out they're going about it you don't really know what's really going on. So it's a little confusing. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no clear objective between the two different groups, light versus dark, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You really don't know kind of like who's working with who. You just kind of, you, you know, but you really don't really know. You get what I'm saying? So it's a little confusing on that part, to be honest. It's a little confusing there because it's like, it makes it very hard to follow the storyline, even though you are seeing the brilliance. You are seeing the brilliance behind the writing of the show, the acting on the show, and all these things are great accolades for this series. But at the same time, you know, as a, as a viewer, it can take you out of, I think this is probably the first time I'm going to like critically say these things about the show because that it's not that the show is short of brilliance and it's hard to really just as much as it's hard to understand what you're watching and to connect the dots. It's just as hard to be a critic of the show because if you are just going to judge it based on acting, the story, and all this stuff, it makes it a 10 out of 10 series easily. Videography, sound design, everything about it is absolutely brilliant. The point is, me as a consumer and being confused is like how many, how much of that can you actually take as a viewer as in being confused and saying, WTF you know what I'm saying like why is this happening it's just like how I didn't have a reaction to 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 Jonas die and I'm like why kill this version of Jonas it's really not making any sense right now he's still alive somewhere else so why 
do they did they have to kill that one is it because he crossed over into the other world that's that's a possibility you know that is a possibility i don't know i don't know and it's not like i'm not enjoying what i'm watching but you really do probably have to go back to season one and watch everything up until now again to fully understand what's going on what is the objective of adam and ava are they the major players is the um the martha that witnessed Jonas dying is that martha going to go through the same exact process that the one that saved Jonas at the end of last season is she gonna go through that same loop again because she was saved by magnus and france francisca i think that's her name Fran francisca right is she's if I, I i don't know i don't know if you have a better explanation for this please let me know put the link in the description because as soon as season three is over which i'm finishing today as soon as it's over i'm going to watch some of those videos as soon as you guys have these on have this on youtube by the way i'll probably just put out a community post letting you guys know hey i finished season three can you guys send me some videos i'll probably just put that out on a community post after i finish recording today because i need to know i really do need to know man it's crazy to me how people just how how things happen in this show it, it it it's just it's brilliantly confusing it's brilliantly confusing and it's on purpose everything they're doing is on purpose and that's what makes the show so good like i'm telling you it's a 10 out of 10 show for me it's a 10 out of 10 show no doubt about it but you know what i'm saying I think even if I took notes, I would still be in the same conundrum that I'm in right now. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I try to connect some dots, stuff pop up. You know what I'm saying? That says, no, that's not where that dot is supposed to be. And that's because you're dealing with time travel. You're dealing with present, past and future you know future past you know what i'm saying it's it's just crazy it's a whole bunch of malarkey but yet so perfectly done so it's hard to really be a critique of a show like this because a an impatient person could not watch the show a person who's impatient could not watch the show i'm i'm not even kidding like if you're an impatient person and you love a good conclusion to a story and a story that you can follow because i'm following like i'm not lost in the in the following of the story and and where it could possibly i'm not lost in that you know what i'm saying in that arena of things like i'm not lost there i'm following the story i'm paying attention i'm seeing things you get what i'm saying and i sometimes i connect dots in my head i don't comment about it because i i want to see what happens you know what i'm saying and i don't just want to you know go off at the mouth just because i have a mouth you know what i'm saying and just have a thought and every thought i have i'm gonna say it i'm just you're just gonna see facial expressions most of the time because i'm just like okay all right i'm watching to see what happens it's hard to tell sometimes you know Cause there's so much is like, okay, why are we hanging around with two other versions of ourselves? Why, why is, why Adam does that? And, and still, who are these dudes with the cuts on their mouth? Like what, who are they? You know what I'm saying? She set things in place. She's hanging out with Bartosz. Um, so basically all these people got to choose a side. It's Bartosz. It's. Um, it, it's so funny because 
um, Adam sent basically Francisca and, and Magnus to go pick up Martha. And then Bartosz himself went to pick up his younger self. So they're going to be saved, of course. But where are they going to go? We got two more episodes to go. So I guess we'll figure, we'll find out something. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I'm not even more confused after watching these two episodes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Keep liking the videos. Keep leaving comments, man. I appreciate y'all. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.